What is good, everybody? Today we're back with a brand new edition of WWE Action Figure Surgery, and it's a good one, man. I'm feeling pretty damn good about what we have here today. Really excited for one specific fix-up custom in particular, which we'll get into. Took me a while to break down, but we'll get into it, man. We got a lot of stuff going on here. It should be fun. Hopefully we do not fail miserably. Of course, we're going to get into it, and I think we have some good shish going on today. It feels good to be back in the lab, Dr. Whitekiss. Let me fix the camera right quick. Let's get a little adjustment right here on the fly. Alrighty, so what we're going to do is we are going to be custom Customizing all these figures, man. Breaking them down. If you've never seen Action Figure Surgery, well, welcome. We got oh, almost, almost episode 100, which I've been planning. And episode 100 of My Name Halls is also in the plans. I just feel like there's like 600 projects happening at one time, so it's difficult to balance if anybody can relate to that. But today, man, we got some good stuff. Hopefully, it's been a good week of San Diego Comic-Con reveals. And hopefully, we got some good shish. But today, we're going to be fixing up the sh current shish that we have in our hands right here. But what we're going to do is walk through everything I'm going to do in this video. And then we're going to perform that and showcase it here on camera for you today, man, but we got some good projects. Let's get into it. Starting out first with Elite 111 Ricochet on the stretcher, man. We have Elite 111 Ricochet, which I'm told this is Optimus Prime gear. I'm still not buying it. I don't care what you say. I don't look at this and say, oh yeah, that's without a doubt Optimus Prime. And I, I not some Transformers connoisseur, but I don't, uh, I, I don't see it all that much. Like, I, I don't know. It's like 10%. I, like the color palette, sure, but I, I don't know. But what we're going to do, man, is we're going to be fixing his Johnny Gargano syndrome here and I'm actually going to have to use a figure off screen. I'm going to be putting these Elite 56 AJ Styles lower legs in here to lift this up just a hair. And then we're going to put some normal kick pads in there. But we're going to be giving him the Mustafa Ali Elite 69 Chase kick pads that do have this red, black, and gray. And I really wish that the gray was white, but we're just going to have to roll with what we got. So we're going to be breaking this down and fixing him up. I don't think it'll be that challenging. It should be something that's relatively simple here. But we are going to fix Johnny Gargano Syndrome right here, crush him in his tracks, and find fix up that Johnny Gargano syndrome and the ricochet should look really good afterwards and if I can think of some better kick pads I definitely will switch them later I don't think it'll be that tough to find red kick red kick pads are actually tough to find on some different figures there's a few different guys but especially in that AJ Styles kick pad mold or that Mustafa Ali kick pad mold it's a little bit difficult to find it if you, if you dig into it you'll know what I'm talking about but next up man let's get into this John Cena here on the stretcher or on the wheelchair I'm sorry this guy right here is interesting because this is a figure I made a long time ago on surgery and he looks fantastic. It's a really cool fix-up, but I'm going to be taking his shoes today. And I can't remember who did this fix-up, but somebody already did this, and I can't remember who it was, but I wanted to try it for myself. I have an Elite 110 Roman Reigns right here. I'm going to be taking this Roman Reigns. I'm going to pop the legs off, and I'm going to put these legs from this Elite 81 Rock on there. But as you guys know, I despise this Cena shoe mold. It is featured on that Finn Balor back there. It's featured on that Finn Balor over there. It's featured on this Rock, and it's featured on that Sandman Elite back there. And we're going to be get getting rid of the feet and putting the John Cena shoes into these and apparently it can make for a cool Roman Reigns fix up so we're going to be putting non we're going to be taking the gauntlet handout making him non gauntlets giving him this man bun head sculpt and putting on this we the one shirt and making a fix up promo Roman Reigns and I don't feel that hyped about it going in because I just don't like this leg mold but I did see it online and it looked pretty cool so I'm going to give it a chance see if it's any good we're going to put the clothes on there see if the uh, figure does actually you know, equal something that's worth a damn. So we'll find out together, man, but it should be a fun one. We'll see how that Roman Reigns turns out at the end of the day there. Next up, we have our Finn Balor. And this Finn Balor here is going to just, it's going to be relatively simple. I'm basically basically going to be taking the Elite 111 and turn it, like kind of merging these two together. Now, hopefully at San Diego Comic-Con, we got something, some version of this Finn Balor in a good way. Uh, I won't know until later on, but I'm going to be merging these two figures together, essentially, and mixing their parts together together and you'll see what comes of that at the end it shouldn't be that big of a deal should be relatively easy but and then we move on to our second to last project we're going to be taking the john cena from the smackdown four pack and i really like this figure outside of a custom jersey and some different details i will end up putting on this figure the shoes they give him regular boots that are painted to look like tim's but mattel has a tim's mold man they have a tim's mold and it's with this shad figure rest in peace to the legend we're going to be putting these tim's onto this john cena and i think that's going to make it just a, a little bit better. I think that, that little bitty detail is going to add a lot to this John Cena. So we are going to be switching the feet of these two figures and the shad will still be pretty much perfect. It will probably shrink him just a hair and it may make the Cena a little taller but I'm willing to sacrifice it for the details and the Tim's mold. So that'll be something that we do here. Relatively easy swap. Shouldn't be anything that, you know, is, is hard as hell. So this is the main event and the main event for this I'm excited for because I think it's going to turn out. We'll have to see
see, of course, I may epically fail and fall flat on my face, but today we're taking the Elite 111 Sandman. I pondered a formula, and this is where I landed, and this is just what we're going to do, and we're going to see if it works. We're going to take the head sculpt from this Sandman Elite and this shirt, this ECW shirt. Until I can get a custom shirt made, we're going to take this head and this shirt from this Sandman. We're going to take the George the Animal of Steel Ultimate Edition, and we are going to be taking the shirt off, popping the Sandman head sculpt on here. I know you're like, what the hell are you planning here, Brad? What kind of what kind of sorcery are you about to pull? Just stay with me. From there, we're going to put these acetoned fiend Bray Wyatt arms that I removed off the tattoos. We're going to pop these arms into the George the Animal Steel right here. Are you feeling me? The, this is the kind of mold we need on the elites. You see how they're not too muscular, they're not too cut, they don't have all these hard cuts in them. This is the mold they should use on Kevin Owens. This is the mold they should use on Sandman. This is the mold they should use on guys like that. We're going to pop these shoulders in there. From there, we're going to acetone the hair off of the neck and chest of this George the Animal Steel. So we're going to remove that using clear nail polish. I'll remove the head sculpt. I'll put this on there. Remove the hair from there so you don't see the hair popping up through the neck. Then we're going to take the legs from this TNF rock pants right here. These long baggy black pants. Going to take these pants and plug them into the George the Animal Steel crotch right here. And it's going to look just like sweatpants. It's going to be very similar to long baggy pants. And the shirt's going to cover the belt buckle anyway where the if he was wearing jeans or pants, it would it's going to cover that anyway, so it's not going to be the biggest deal. From there, we're going to take the Captain Lou over here, and we're going to be putting these shoes. They may be a little bit big, but I think I think it's going to work out, man. I think it's going to work out. Hope to God it's going to work out. We're going to put these white shoes into these rock pants, and I would use the Captain Lou pants, but they're a little bit too baggy and big for me, so we're going to be using the rock legs. We're going to put these shoes into these rock legs on this George the Animal Steel with those Bray Wyatt arms, with that Sandman head and shirt, and then at the end of the day, we're going to give him the damn kendo stick, and hopefully, to God, this Frankenstein effort gives us an ultimate edition Sandman until maybe Mattel gives us one. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't give us one, but you know what, Brad? We're going to attempt it anyway, and if we fail miserably, we fail miserably, but I'm going to go for the damn goal. you got to risk it to get the biscuit today. We're going to try and make an ultimate edition Sandman using those parts, and if I fail fall flat on my face? Well, I guess I fall flat on my face, man. And you're probably wondering why not just, like, obviously this is going to give him a little bit chunkier of a torso, which I feel like could work for Sandman. The arms won't be as cut as the Elite here. And you're probably saying, oh, why don't you just pop these rock legs into this crotch piece? Well, that would work, Brad, but this crotch piece is molded in white, and I'm not about to paint nothing. So that's my plan. Is it going to work? I don't know. But we won't know until we try. So, Dr. Whitekiss, you are paged to the surgery room. Let's get the hell out of here and see if we can, in fact, pull off this miracle today and see what comes of it. All right, man, our first order of business is going to be the Finn Balor figures right here, and I don't think, I, d I really don't think these are going to require any heat because you can just pop this head sculpt off. I really like this Finn Balor jacket that we got on this Elite 111 figure, but I'm going to be popping this off. Now, one thing that you're going to notice is, obviously, he's going to have that 7 on there, but the shirt that he's going to put on is going to cover it anyway, so not going to make me lose any sleep tonight, Brad. I'm going to sleep like a damn baby with this over here, and then from here, we're going to pop this head sculpt off of here. I think I can remove it with no heat. Oh, God, hold up now. Uh, God, if I break this figure, I'm going to break my own foot off of my own A. Okay, I got it. So let's go ahead and plop this head sculpt on here. I hope to God at Comic-Con they have revealed a Finn Balor with a faded taper beard. And you know what's crazy is just the other day I watched my 2019 Comic-Con wishlist video from five years ago. Do you want to know one of the first things that was in that video? The faded Finn Balor taper beard. And then a man bun Roman Reigns head sculpt was on there as well. But the faded taper beard for Finn Balor was in that video. And I thought that was hilarious. But now you can see the vision. Look at the head swap right there. And I'll put the shirt on there and we'll look at it at the end. So I don't want to waste any more time, you know, with the Finn Balor. I think that'll be easy. You'll, you guys will see it at the end, what it'll look like with the custom shirt and the black jacket. And then I'll show you what the other Finn Balor looks like. It's basically just a head swap and a shirt swap. Nothing too crazy, but it's easy and it looks good. So we'll do that. Next up, we have our Roman Reigns. I really would like to get a camera that's like up above. How sick would it be to have a camera that's like stationary above and you can see like a different angle? But we're going to take this John Cena. We're going to be removing these shoes. So I do have to heat up these shoes. We're also going to be, let's go ahead and remove these gauntlets from this Roman Reigns. We're going to go ahead and pop out the hands here, get these gauntlets off. And that'll go into a fodder bin because I legitimately bought a box full of this Elite 110 Roman Reigns. And I'm going to be selling these head sculpts on my next Whatnut stream. So you guys can go download that. I'm going to be repainting all of these and selling them so you guys can get one that's accurate. If Mattel won't give it to us, sometimes you got to do your own 
shish. So we're going to heat up these legs, heat up those shoes. So we got to get the ball joints heated up with the shoes right there. And then the head sculpt doesn't have to be heated up because it is an interchangeable head sculpt. And then the We The One shirt doesn't have to be heated up because it's damn cloth goods. And then the next thing we're going to do is heat up these. This Elite 81 Rock is one of my least favorite Mattel Elites of all time. It's such a bummy figure, man. Get that shirt out of here. We're going to heat this up. I really don't even like this figure, to be honest. But you know what, man? We're going to do this. Uh, you know, you know. usually we would combine different things going on, but I'm trying to think of what we could heat up. And honestly, I guess I guess we can heat up the Captain Lou shoes and the Rock shoes from the, for the, you know, the Sandman fix that we're going to do. That way we can just go ahead and pop those over. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. I think I think this will work. Hopefully, we got three pairs of shoes right here. Four if you're counting the Rocks, but uh, it doesn't matter. Let's heat it up. Let's get the white trusty hair dryer in here. Let's find out if we can get this going. And it should be a good one, man, but let's book all the hell up and get things going. All right, man, hopefully everything got heated up and I didn't fail miserably, but let's pop off the Captain Lou shoes that really... Okay, the other one didn't really get heated up as much as I'd like. Okay, it popped off, though. Okay, Captain Lou's pretty much done. We have the Rock shoes here. Pop those off. Get those over there. I really could just put them on the Captain Lou and call it a day. That way the Captain Lou isn't completely shoeless, like shoeless Joe Jackson or something. Fixing damn baseball games. What are you doing, man? Uh, let's go ahead and put these white sneakers in here. Hopefully... Can we make this happen? I think we got it. Did we get it? Urgh. All right, we got that. And then we're going to pop up here, do this, get this one on here. This one's actually, yeah, that one's actually a lot more heated up. All right, that looks pretty good there. We're going to live with that. We'll move on. We'll come back to that rock in just a minute, or those rock legs. Now we're going to heat up these Shane McMahon legs, which are Jesus awful. And we're going to pop these off right here. I just don't like this leg mold, man. I just don't like it. Now, this is the only Elite 81 rock I have, and I don't care. You can throw it the hell out in the yard. It's just god awful. It's god awful. God awful. All right. Then we have the Tribal Chief. And got that off. Jeez, I thought, uh, dude, if I would have snapped that leg, I would have snapped my own neck. All right, here we go. We got this, and then we're going to pop this into here. God, I hate these legs. Why am I even doing this fix up? It looked pretty cool. I'll, I'll give them that. We'll see if it turns out good. I really don't feel good about it because I just think that these legs are, I don't know, they're like so small and I don't know, they don't look good in my opinion, but we're going to try it anyway and hopefully maybe putting the John Cena shoes on there will be something that makes it look a little bit better here. You pop on. All right, got that. Now, I knew this would be a thing. This, these shoes on this, uh, on this John Cena shoe mold didn't really get heated up all the way. So we're going to aim that up and I think these got heated up enough, maybe. Did they? All right, there's that. Oh my God, they painted the damn peg on that Cena. See that? I've never, I've never noticed that. They painted the pegs of the John Cena right here in skin tone so that you wouldn't see it. That's crazy. This Elite 17 Cena. Great figure, by the way. All right, now we have our shoes. We do need to, we're probably gonna have to heat this up again. Okay, we're gonna heat those two up together, and we don't need heat on the, the man bun head sculpt and all that stuff, but, and we gotta put our Roman Reigns skin tone hands in there. However, I guess we can move on to the Ricochet figure, and the first thing that we have to do with Ricochet is heat up the kick pads from the Mustafa Ali. Now, one thing, you probably, like, honestly, could probably just heat up the lower legs from Mustafa Ali and put those onto the Ricochet, but I don't really want the lower legs to be completely red like that, even though the blues aren't gonna match all the way. One thing you also wanna do is remove this these cloth goods from this figure don't ever heat up the cloth goods man it's just it's just not going to turn out well like it may not damage it but why even risk it sometimes it can damage it though and you can never really gauge it like at 35 seconds under a hair dryer it may be fine but 36 seconds it's melted completely so you, you know what i'm saying you want to be cautious of those things but we are going to heat up the lower legs of this ricochet and then we're also going to heat up the lower legs of this aj styles which again the blues don't match but hopefully it doesn't look stupid and terrible so hopefully this will all pan out and work together for the common goal that we have here and hopefully this will all pan out correctly so i gotta just make sure this is all in line and then i gotta get the white trusty hair dryer back out and we're gonna heat all this shish up all right guys let's find out if we are successful here man find out if we're successful Let's do the lower legs of the ricochet first. I think this did get enough heat here. One thing that's going to be annoying here is going to be the knee pads. I'll probably just take these off for now, but it definitely got enough heat, so that's good. I'm going to pop this peg out right there, but Johnny Gargano syndrome, you can go right in hell. Um, I'm going to actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this all the way back on and just slide it as high as I possibly can, and then hopefully we can get the lower leg of the AJ Styles on there. 
to a de decent degree. But now we're going to go over here and let's go ahead and pop these kick pads out. Because it's actually pretty difficult most of the time. Very hot, very hot. Alright, get the knee pads of the AJ Styles. Dude, I have so much fodder, man. I could probably do a whole damn whatnot stream of just fodder and be completely fine. I could give away bucket loads of fodder and there would still be bucket loads left. I mean, it is ridiculous out here with all the damn fodder. All right, switching this lower leg here should be relatively easy. I, dude, I remember when this used to be so challenging for me. And then once you've done it a trillion times, you gotta, you know, it's kind of like muscle memory. You kind of develop it. It's like riding a damn bicycle. Now, the colors, again, are not my favorite favorite in terms of how accurate they are or how close they are but i will take what we can get at this moment god dude this peg is not staying in here which makes me think that the lower leg right here is probably going to be very loose which is going to be very bummy especially you don't want your lower leg to be loose man let's see if i can get this through god and then we do have to get the kick pads of the mustafa ali off uh, and i definitely don't want to like sacrifice this mustafa ali i think i have two of them actually so it won't be the biggest deal of all time, but I definitely want to take care of that. But we're going to stick these on here, and then we will be done with this ricochet. And I will showcase him at the end when we take a look at everything we've done here today. Hopefully it looks good, or, you know, maybe it'll look terrible. I don't know. Then we have the feet of this John Cena, which, I don't know, man. I'm, the more I think about this fix-up, the more I'm really not that excited for it. But you never know. You never know. I wanted to try it. I had the parts, so you might as well just try it see what happens. All right, this really doesn't go on here that good, to be honest. Have I not done something like this before? It kind of creates that natural cuff, though, as you look at it. But we will look. We will look. We'll see what comes of it. Hopefully, it's not bummy. Feet are so damn loose, though. I may have to wait on that one. But one thing we can do with this Roman is go ahead and put on the fisted hands. We're going to slide these in here. I'm going to take this fist, slide this up in here. And we're going to take the man bun head sculpt. Put this on him, and he'll need a watch, to be honest, but we'll put the shirt on him, and you guys will see what he looks like at the end. Give him a little time to cool off and get all that right. And then we have the AJ Styles right there. All right, next up. Next up on our business is going to be the foot swap of the John Cena and Shad. This should be relatively simple. I don't see us running into any snags right here. But one thing we do need to do is for our George Animal Steel, we need to remove this head sculpt, put that up there. I am going to have to buy another Ultimate Edition George Animal Steel, but I don't think that'll be the biggest deal. I was a bigger fan of Sandman than George Animal Steel. So I don't know if you guys make those kind of cuts in your collection, but I'm going to pop the arms out right here on this Ultimate. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And now, when I put the shirt on there, we'll kind of know, but uh, I'm going to heat up the inner legs of this George Animal Steel, and I'm going to heat up the inner legs of the Rock Elite, like this right here that we did do the shoe swap on. Hopefully, all that will look fine. That looks kind of ridiculous, but let's go ahead and pop the shirt and head off this Sandman, and then we will plug everything in once we get everything going. I still have my Fiend acetone arms, I have my salmon head, and we are going to remove this ECW shirt because this is going to be our placeholder shirt until we get a custom one made, and this body will just be chilling. Unless, I guess if this fails miserably, then we'll, we'll know we can get some usage out of it. It'll probably revert back to Sandman, but after that, I've already acetone the torso of the George Animal Steel, so you might as well just make the most out of it, you know? Nonetheless, we are going to heat all this up. I think that's the last thing I need to heat up. Anyways, let's heat this up and do this swap. Alrighty, let's see if, in fact, we can make this happen, man. I'm really excited for the, the Sandman, hopefully. God, dude, if this doesn't work out, I will be pretty bummed out because I, you know, I had high hopes going in that this would work. And I, I think it's going to work, but you never know, man. You never quite know. It could fail miserably, but... Now we're going to pop the baggy pants in here. Now they are on, uh, what's it called? The drop down hips. So you got to be very careful here because I really don't want to F this up and snap a peg off. Oh man. Hold on. I never, I've never done this before. This is actually brand new. I've never, I've never done that. I've never popped on new legs onto drop down hips from a Mattel figure before. I think I've done it on DBZ before, but I've never done that on, never done that in a WWE action figure space, which is kind of crazy because I've dedicated my life to it. Alrighty. Wow, we actually got those legs on there. Now, now what we have to do is pop the fiend arms in here. So you guys will see what I'm talking about here. Alrighty, pop the fiend arms in here. Just like so. Get that going. Damn, those are very secure and tight. That is amazing. Wow. Alrighty. You see the vision. You see the vision. Can we make it happen? Now I need to acetone the neck. I'm going to 
take off some of this and then we're going to add on the shirt. But before we do that, I am going to pop these feet off. God, why did those not get heated up enough? Or maybe it's because you took forever. You took forever to get over there and do it. So we're gonna pop the, this actually turned out better because this peg actually, oh dude, this is gonna look so damn sick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my, oh dude. We're gonna look at that in a minute. Oh my God, what a, let him cook. What the hell? Oh my God. Elite, elite. Now we're gonna acetone the neck of that Sandman and then we're gonna kick it over to the finale. So what you're gonna see next is a compilation and then the finale. Alright man, here's everything that we did today on WWE Action Figure Surgery, and by God, I think we pulled it off, Brad. I think everything here looks pretty good. Now, one thing that I'll say right off the cuff, Sandman might look a little tall, but I don't think it's that bad, and we'll, we'll get into it. Like, obviously, Roman Reigns and him, I think, are the same height, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say Sandman and Roman Reigns are the same height, but this Roman Reigns is going to be shorter because of this leg mold right here. Sandman's 6'4". I'm pretty sure Roman Reigns is 6'4". Actually, Roman Reigns is 6'3". So, I don't know. I don't know, I may have nailed it. We may have nailed it, I'm not sure, but this, we'll get into the same man last, man. Look at this right here. This is everything we did today, I think. I can't remember, I did so much today, I don't know, but here's the Finn Balor. We'll start things off with the Finn Balor's. It's just a simple swap, right? The head swap, the jacket swap, that's it. And I, I like the new improved, I hate the John Cena shoe mold, as you guys know, but I'll take this. It's just, again, it's a placeholder until we get something better, this is what we have. And I love Finn Balor, I just wish that they'd switch the damn formula, man. It's very unfortunate, but yeah, that's what we have for today, man. Very unfortunate, very, very, very sad. Next up is Elite 111 Ricochet. Look at that right there, man. I think the low-key, the two-tone blue with the red and the black and the gray actually looks pretty sweet. Now, if the gray were white, it'd probably look a little better, but I'm gonna take this one as a W. That's a W for me. I don't, I don't hate this. I like it. It actually looks even better in person than on camera, and I like it a hell of a lot. I think it turned out freaking sweet. Now, we don't have to deal with Johnny Gargano syndrome, so I'm going to chalk that up as another W right there. Another W. Beautiful looking ricochet fix up. Got the accurate kick pad height, and look at his height. He's still the same height. Look at that. Just, oh, God. Beautiful. Beautiful. You don't need Johnny Gargano Syndrome. You can make him the correct height anyway. Next up is our promo Roman Reigns. Now, this doesn't look bad by any stretch. It's just, I don't know. It's not bad. It's not bad. He is, maybe he is the right height. I'm not sure. But one thing's for certain, it's not the damn John Cena shoe mold. Or it's not the terrible John Cena shoe mold. It's the trainer shoe or the short shorts John Cena shoe mold, which is so much better. And this actually looks pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. It actually feels a whole lot better in hand than I thought it would. And it's a good, clean fix-up. Man bun head sculpt. And now we have another... Roman Reigns promo gear. I mean, I, I make a lot of Cody's in suit, and I make a lot of Roman Reigns in promo gear, so I'll take it. And the jogger, putting these shoes into that John Cena shoe mold created its own cuff at the bottom, which makes the joggers look even better. It doesn't make them look like pajama pants. It makes them look like actual joggers, so that's kind of crazy that that all turned out nice. This one looks incredible. This John Cena... Look at this right here, man. Look at the accuracy of these Tims on this on this John Cena. I want to move these guys back so that you guys can get the full effect here. This is a crazy fix-up that looks so damn good. Look at that. I don't know why they didn't initially include that, but look at that. That completes the look. It looks like he's wearing the Tims. The Shad boots look so good. The Tims look immaculate. Just all around beautiful. This looks like a custom figure. This does not look like something Mattel made, so I am pretty damn proud of the John Cena. I am, I'm hyped for the John Cena. John Cena absolutely crushed it today. It looks just like he did when he fought Eddie Guerrero. And last but not least, we have the Ultimate Edition Sandman. This is a fully operational Ultimate Edition Sandman with everything going on. And I would switch the shirt, but this is pretty damn good, man. I love the arm mold. I love that you have that little plump belly going on. He he does have he has butterfly joints, so he's going to be very poseable. The shoulders are very tight with those Bray Wyatt fiend arms. And then you have these baggy pants with the Captain Lou shoes. Dude, what a sweet little fix-up right there. That looks so good. I love this. It turned out better than I even thought it would. And he is very articulated. Like He can do every pose you could possibly want. I don't think you're going to have any issues. I would highly recommend making this fix-up if you guys want a better formula for your Sandman. Because this blows the other one out of the water. It's not even close. And he can actually stand up and articulate. And he has everything that you could possibly want out of a Sandman. This this is better than I could have ever dreamed. It actually The vision, I had the vision and it turned out nice. I mean, the legs, they look maybe a little long, but I, I really, I'm not hating it, man. He looks like Sandman. This looks like Sandman standing here in action figure form, and it looks official. So, 
I will take that every single day. I, I love it. I think it turned out great, and I'm proud of it. So that is everything we had today, man. What a great day of surgery. What a great day of surgery. I think this is probably one of the most successful days of surgery in a while, just because these four executions actually turned out money. And the Finn Balors, they are what they are. I, I just wanted to do the swap, so there's that. But the other four absolutely nailed it. Chef's kiss. I'm impressed with them. I think they look great. And a huge shout-out to whoever did this promo Roman Reigns first. The other three were my own imaginations, but that Roman Reigns, I can't remember who did it first, but shout-out to you. Anyways, man, that is going to wrap the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know your thoughts on all these down in the comment section below. Definitely going to be sharing some of these fix-ups on my Instagram page. But, huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you guys so very much. Patreon members actually got to see this video days earlier because they're Patreon members, so they got to see this surgery a little early. So, huge shout-out to those guys. Appreciate all you fellas, man. You guys are absolutely incredible, and make the channel possible. Make the channel possible? God. Make the channel possible. But I'm getting out, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.